Hey, movie fans, welcome back to After the Credits, where we break down the latest and greatest movies, including our favorite scenes, quotes, trivia, and even how we think it should have ended. Grab a bowl of popcorn and enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to After the Credits Live, doing a live recording at Grand Comic Fest 5. Woo! Hey, hey, you're blown by a very special guy. Uh, Michael Keaton Saturn himself has joined us to discuss uh, a DC movie a little bit. So, welcome, Batman. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. You look great. Um, so, today we're going to be talking about Shazam Fury of the Gods, the new Shazam movie that came out. Uh, pretty exciting film. So, um, so, I mean, why don't we just jump right into it? So, we got the we got the director of which is David F. Sandberg. Uh, he did the first of Man movie. Also did a bunch of other horror films as well. The so office budget of this was uh, uh, $125 million. A pretty decent budget. Uh, U.S. and Canada grossed five, uh, so $57 million, $520,079. That's a lot more than I would have guessed. With how critics talked about this movie, it, it is now, it, it's more than what I thought as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, Opening weekend, 30 million, and it grows worldwide, 132 million a day. Um, Holy cow. But yeah, it, 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 did, it did pretty, pretty it ended up making its money, at least, so that was good. Yeah. Um, when we say March 17th, 2023, in the February. Um, so yeah, that's, that's great. The little bit of a smile this year was the density of the story of Kingdom's Holy Cat, too. Who upon reciting the magic word, Shazam! And transformed into his adult superhero as the ego, and Shazam. About the anxiety of the fossil system, Billy struggles with his alter ego and being Shazam while saving the world that are drugs. But it's, uh, I mean, the typical, typical DC movie that I feel like kind of got the Marvel super movie bit with the uh, humor and stuff, not, not as dark as our, um, like all Canada did. But, you uh, know, anyway, <laughs> still, still pretty dark, right? So, yeah. Um, the cast is actually exactly letting play Shazam. After age, actually, Angel played Brady Batson, Jack Dylan Raven, Freddie Freeman, uh, we saw it, let's see, Adam Brody playing Stupid Monkey, which is, which is pretty cool, Lucy Wu, and Holly Mirren, both of them that showed up here in this film. Um, I do not, Lucy Wu, is that it? I am not. Lamari? She sings terrific. Yes, she does. She sings fantastic, I agree. Um, Holly Mirren, I saw, let's see, Demon Ensemble? He's the wizard. He's in the other Shazam as well, but he's obviously... He was... What, it, that's the same guy in um, Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Guardians of the Galaxy? I'll guarantee you a loved one. No. He's in order to capture it. He's like that in the movie Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Right on. Right on. Is there anyone here with any of these? Have you seen the first Shazam movie? Yeah? Did you guys like it? Was it good? Is it good? Right on. Okay. Did you see the first Shazam movie? I did. Okay, I'm glad that you thought. I'm late, you know, see, we're heading to the movie. That's right. But was it wasn't Henry Cavill Superman, though. It was his suit. It was, it was just the suit. Yeah, it was just the teaser of the yeah, suit. Yeah. Which honestly got me... The only... Not the only reason. Uh, I was bummed. Have you seen the animated uh, Shazam... Um, Black Adam, Superman. See, Batman and I mean, was just talking about the universe of the world. Yeah. And how great it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're absolutely great. <laughs> if they would have done a film adaptation of that, that would have been, that would have been tops. Top tier. <laughs> With the uh, Dwayne, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, Black Adam yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really. That would have been, I would have loved it. And then when you're seeing the Black Adam, as well, as well as the not work, you saw a lot of my own, okay, I'll take one of the things um, you call you guys, you call yourselves nerds? Yeah, nerds? <laughs> I haven't seen them? Actually, to be fair, out of the whole DC movie, Shazam, Black Adam, or the two that I can understand, you know, they're just skipping it. I can bet I can yeah. listen as well. But yeah, so, um, I guess we could talk about a few scenes. Maybe if anyone wants to pull up and talk about some of our favorite DC universe. We can, yeah, we can make it a generalized and do DC. I, I can tell, I can tell that you want to connect and talk to I mean, I can tell. You don't have to look back there. You have to come up and tell us who your favorite DC character is, and we'll give you something from the same. Come, come to the DC side. Come to the dark side. 
Born in the 19th century. So, your favorite DC Spears. Bully Batman. Bully Batman? Well, you're in luck. Look, he's right there! Because he's sitting there next to you, which is awesome. So, what's your favorite Batman movie? Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah. Yeah, that's a top. That's a top one. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, well, thanks for coming on. Blaine, pick a prize. Pick a prize off the prize table. Now, do you want the real movie poster, or do you want the rolled up one off of Amazon? Ooh. A fellow Dark Knight fan, I, I, I'm glad to, uh, to give away the big movie post for you. Well, enjoy that, man. Thanks for coming by and talking to us. Check really this out. You. This is double pane, so like you can put a light behind it. And it'll shine through, make it make all bright and stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Get it through. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming by, buddy. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good one, man. Okay, so favorite DC film out of anyone you want to watch Modern Fox? Not you. Just kidding. Lucian, <laughs> come back over here, fellow. Give it a shake. Is this thing on? Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't know, man. Favorite DC film. Yeah, you could go back to Tim Burton as well. Okay, uh, I would probably say The Dark Knight. Yeah, That's me. Again? Yeah, that's Dark Knight. It's gotta be my favorite. Again? Always. Yeah, I mean, it's good, it but... It set the standard for a lot of what we love about Batman movies, and a lot of what Absolutely. needs, in my opinion, to happen in the DCEU. I, I, I think you need to go back to the darker yeah. side of things. The grittier side. I'm trying to copy off of that, but my Marvel's algorithm is true. So, yeah. did you like the new uh, Pattinson? Robert Pattinson Batman? The Batman? No, I, did, I didn't think I was going to. Like, I was fully against it when I saw it. Yeah. Um, Halfway through it, it sold me. I liked it a lot. I it's liked, the I movie. Liked, it's uh, the movie Seven, but with superheroes. Yeah. It's one of those yeah. With yeah. I yeah. think that was the perfect choice for the Riddler. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what I've always said about DC movies is I go to watch DC movies for the guns, but not the villains. Exactly. I go to watch Batman. I just want to see the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so. Well, thank you for letting us know your thing. What's my prize? What do you want? No, I just I am actually talking to him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming by, Lucy. All right, so we've got some tea from this one that we want to talk about. Her name is Chrissy, and they talk about their favorite scene, some, some, uh, some, some favorite music. scene. <laughs> uh, so in the new Shazam, there's the bridge scene where they're all together saving everyone off the bridge while they're yeah. relaxing, and they're trying to do such a good job of saving everyone. And they save everyone, but the whole thing is to like, not let the bridge collapse and their kids and so they let the movie collapse. But the, the, the special effects in that scene were great. I thought the acting is well done as well. Go on, you got a... Uh, favorite scene for sure. So um, I'm not going to spoil it because there's a lot of no's in the crowd that hasn't seen Shazam Theory of the Gods. But there's a scene where someone dies. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. They don't actually die because it's a comic book movie. Uh, <laughs> but someone dies and... I mean, the way that they are laying there, and then the way that that person's close friends and family respond to it, um, I cried. I cried hard. It was awesome. And I wasn't expecting to. Like, no one goes into the movie theater to see Shazam and expects to cry. Right. I mean, you're also a big baby. So like that's yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little baby. You got, yeah, you got that. I also had, I also had both of my kids with me, and I mean, that may or may not have. Mess with the feels. Yeah. The only other scene that I want to talk about is because if you ever put the scene in a movie, I'm in book, but giant CG dragon fighting. Oh my god, there were dragons in this right. movie. If you ever watch CG dragons fighting, it's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Anybody else want that? Look, uh, one scene that you can think out of all the DC movies, or even, you know what? Superhero movies in general. Is there one that's tricked out that you guys that have a lot to talk about it? Last time I was able to. Uh, ideas on that. I mean, the anchor's gotta be fun. There we yeah, go. Yeah, get all up here. What's your name? Hi, Hi Tina. Nice to meet you. Uh, just, uh, okay. So, is there a favorite scene that Poison Ivy's in? I really like when she's being, like, just becoming Poison Ivy. Yeah. 
Are you talking about like the Tim Burton, or not the Tim Burton, uh, who directed that one? The one with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? That Poison Ivy? Oh. Which? Okay. Okay, okay. right on. Why did everything she does just like awesome? Because she's a, um, because she's a bad ass woman. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Cool, thank you. Yeah, get on up here. Look if there was somebody looking at a Hulk action figure. I, right? Someone was looking at the Hulk action figure was that previously? Is that right? Is that a comic? Yeah. Take a picture. Awesome. Well, Jake said, you don't want to watch something extra. Thank you, Thank you so much for being in the house. Alright, you got a thing? And the mic. Talking to the mic. What's your name? Ben. Ben. Hey, Ben. Nice to meet you. My favorite thing is Ben. Ben and the mic. Here. Yeah. Oh. My favorite thing is the flash. Oh, you like the flash? Yeah. Okay. okay, do you have a favorite flash? Like how 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 nerdy are we getting? Like Wally West, Barry Allen? Barry Allen. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Are you excited for the new flash thing? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that he is going to be in the new flash movie, Batman? Yeah. The Batman. And Batman. He's going to be Batman as well. So. And Batflex is going to be there too. So, yeah. With Batman. horrible CGI. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you for coming up and sharing that. So you pick something off. Pick something you like. You gotta pick all. All right, all right man. Awesome. Should we do? Should we do some quotes? Yeah, Quotables? Yeah, quote. yeah, it's okay. Um, so, spoiler alert: Wonder Woman does show up in the end. Um, and uh, Suzanne does a whole floating thing with her. And, uh, because how could you not? Yeah, how could you not bring with her? Because how could you not? How could you not with Gal Gadot? I, I, and, and Mary Good plays no chance whatsoever, and I wouldn't be able to not work with her. Oh, uh -huh, there's no way. I wouldn't be able to help her. But there's uh, at the end, you kind of flirt with her, and you know, you know, they're like, hey, you could, you know, that she can do sometimes. Just her line is there, her like only <laughs> line in the movie, just stick the thing in the world, Tim. And then yeah. she walks away, and I'll, it's the quintessential perfect Wonder Woman quote. Which so, I, which I loved about that quote, and and how he acts towards her about yeah. that because that that's true to the comics that's true okay. to the source material because the thing to remember is that shazam is a child yeah. he is a child in, a in the body of a god like i mean of all the gods and yeah. of course of course a 13 year old's gonna do that superman's not gonna do it yeah. i mean he's right barry <laughs> allen would yeah, because barry he's allen. a little he's younger well, he's, he's yeah he yeah. He's like, you think she, uh, think she can go through younger men and be 5,000 yeah. years old? Every man is a younger man. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, that's what we got to go. Um, so, Skittles plays um, into this movie a little bit. And, uh, and, I mean, with movies like this, you can't just outwardly uh, be vulgar and have um, obscenities. Um, and there's a part in which... Um, one of the one of the Shazam family members says, "Taste the rainbow, mother," and then it gets cut off right right at the end. Right, right. So it's a little child. Yeah, because unicorns are a real thing, and um, it just turns out that they are the scariest thing of all of the creatures of the land. Unicorns are the most feared. Right. Yeah. It's that that was it. That was a good call. So, anybody else have, like, e again, DC, Marvel, whatever, favorite superhero movie for Everyone else has. Huh? Do you guys believe it? Yes, absolutely. Unicorns, well, evil. Yeah, you need to watch yeah. the new Shazam movie. I mean, I, I don't suggest going out and buying the movie um, like we both did. Uh, I don't suggest that. Just wait until you can watch it for free. I believe it's just wait. Like It'll be on Max. Yeah. No. And you, you, just, you can watch it. So. Um, Anybody? Anybody? While we wait for someone to come up, there was one thing that I really liked. Um, is is one of the character one of the characters comes out um, as gay, and the way that they did it was, was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. And any I don't know, 
I imagine that kids are going to see this in movie theaters, and they may feel a little bit more comfortable with themselves after. Yeah. And I love that. The scene that plays out is all the all of the heroes are standing around, and the parents finally found out that they're heroes. And they're like, "Is there anything you want to tell us?" And everyone else is like, "We're superheroes." And then one guy goes, "I'm gay." And Shazam just looks over at him and goes, "That's oh, okay, buddy." Yeah, yeah, we know, bud. It's cool. And then they get yeah. back into it. And the fact that it's 1981, and, and yeah. it, it, was, it was great and fine to have anyone, it was cool. It was perfect. Absolutely. So, what was that? What was that? I'm Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Heartland Darkland. Heartland Darkland. Where can we listen to that at? Anywhere you listen to podcasts. Ooh, okay. Are you on Facebook? We are. We are Heartland Darkland. The podcast on there. Awesome. You can find all of our social medias on our website, too. Oh, cool. We'll have to make sure to like link that in when we we're gonna post this, by the way, uh, because this is content. This is content that we can post. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you can't go up very Yep. Yeah. No, that's okay. If you read older podcasts, you can down to the traffic. We're the little ones, the wee little ones. I have this problem with that. Our left wire says a DJ, we need to like, I'm going to cut. Yeah. Yep. Hey, where's the? Yeah, do we still have the keychain up there? Yeah. No one wants that keychain. Ooh. How old's How old's your son? Okay. Yeah. So he likes Mothra for sure. Yeah. We've done a few superhero episodes as well. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you. Cool. Anybody else got some folks or anything they want to talk about? Yeah. Come on. What's your name? Hi. Hi. Sorry. Nice to meet you. We got a picture. You're going to have to tag us. Okay. Add us. Add us on the Facebook and the Instagram. You've got our card with our stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> you got, so yeah, you have your favorite. Uh, no? uh, my favorite film is actually from the Flash of the TV show. Mm -hmm. my yeah. Okay. There's like four things you need to remember. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. Throw away the plan, yeah. 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 And, Bruce Timms animated? Huh? Bruce Timms animated the yeah. the, the OG? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe James Gunn will save us. He won't. Thank you so much for coming. Did you want a poster or a Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tyler's Trivia. Tyler's Trivia is literally the best part about the whole podcast. Hey, Alyssa. Yeah. Which, again, literally what we were just talking about, that movie, they easily could have done that on film because we got that in Batman v Superman when, when Batfleck's just brooding and looking at the, uh, the Robin suit. And it had like the, the, the graffiti, like ha 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 jokes on you. Like I, I, we saw that in theaters together and I stood up and I was like, yes, we're getting a Jason till we're getting a red hood. And then it never happened. Yeah. What do we got left? Is that it? I think that's it.
Oh, uh, well, we got maybe one. Maybe we got one more thing. Maybe. We do that? Maybe. Okay. So, yeah, if you still want to practice free, this still might be something that we can get out. But we are going to start my favorite section of this. Show. It's my favorite section. And it's still a favorite section. Well, it's my trivia section, things that you might not know about the movie, how it was made, stuff like that. Then we'll get into the ranking for a bottle where it was ranked on a scale of 1 to 10, and then we'll get you guys out of here. So, for my trivia. The first thing I have is Billy Batson having a crush on Wonder Woman, like you, you discussed yep. earlier. Yep, yep, yep. Power of Shazam comics, that kind of also had the wizard made, made fun. The wizards, seeing so anything bully through a green, also have to do where his face shirt on Wonder Woman's body. So they pulled it straight from the, the comic, which is, I mean, if you're a fan of comic books and you see that, you know, you see a yeah. reel or something in, in a, a movie, it looks fantastic. So, um, David S. Sandberg, I know from the beginning of the episode, is a big horror movie director, um, the director of Annabelle creation in 2017. Um, you can see the Annabelle doll in one of the scenes, sitting in the city in a chair in a pediatric uh, pediatrician's office. Um, it's a, awesome. I love I love yeah. Shout out to different genres and different uh -huh. types of movies and um, comic books. And, uh, the film was announced one week after the first exam that you came out. They were so sure that they wanted to do another one. Like one week after the first exam that came really? out. They announced and, and said that they were going to be doing this exam too. Maybe, and that's what DC needs to stop doing. Right. Let's chill. I mean, they had a post credit scene of at the Green Lantern with uh, Sinestro yeah. putting on the, the, the yellow ring. Well, and then the post credit scene in this one. Yeah. They're like, there's like three of them. Yeah. But are, but are, that, that, that I would say would be detrimental to the to where the director of the DC EU or something. But, yeah. Yeah, kidding. So yeah, this is the 12th film in the DC Extended Universe. I didn't even know that many. Yeah, I mean, there's so many ones that bombed. Uh, Birds of Prey is in there. Yeah, the, uh, that's right. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Movie. Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's why right. I'll forget about those. They're just great in their own, their own aspect. I do. Good. Yep. Okay. Goodness, good. it's like we're hiding back there. So yeah, uh, the teacher is played by Dietrich Battle, who voices Batman and other comic book characters in various DC comics and animated stories. The teacher, the one that gets possessed by the by the guy yeah, who just walks yeah. off the building. Uh huh. Yeah, he voices Batman in, in other. In I did not know that. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Michael Gray, a previous live action Billy Batson from Shazam in 1974. Oh, the 74. Who was alive in 1974? Not me. Yeah. Oh. What Batman. Batman, was Batman, how old were you in 74? Okay, all right. Did you see it? Did you see the, the OG Shazam? That's amazing. All right. That is fantastic. Um, but the original live action Billy Batson from the Shazam in 1974 actually That's cool. appears as a bystander in the final battle in the Battle of the Fleet, um, which is... Really I love when they do that, yeah. when um, I'm blanking Wonder Woman. OG Wonder Woman when she was in uh, Linda Carter when she was in the the Wonder Woman movie. Yeah, yeah, the dolphin. Yeah, well, I mean that's always the thing that yeah. that so that happened. He was the guy, the bystander who calls Suzanne his original title of Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. That's right. So yeah, those are the one uh, let's see here. Among the myth mythical creatures created by the Sea of Life that attacks Philadelphia in the final half, which that had shades of horror movie written all over yeah. those different characters. Yeah. So it was about this creature, these obvious. Um, but the Cyclops, that design is identical to that of the iconic stop motion Cyclops uh, back in 1958. Uh, well, it's the same exact layout and the old school Cyclops. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Okay. 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 More. Originally, the mid credit scene was supposed to be the Awesome and Cyclone to black out. No. Yep. To the group, yeah, to, to the troops of Suzanne and to the Brussels Society, which is emptied into the comments as Suzanne is a member of that group. So. Um, it was changed due to, if I love the dive, it was changed on uh, Dwayne Johnson's request to feature the Peacemaker's hat at the end, including and including his just must be five. So, yeah. um, kind of a bummer, it would have been cool to see, you know, Hawkman and Cyclone, but yeah. I, I, I love the Peacemaker painting where he thinks. Um, so last one here, Shazam's arm coming out of the ground at the end, oh, that, that's a spoiler. By the way, Shazam dies with a really dive. Um, <laughs> yeah, he died. <laughs> but at the end, 
when they bring it back to life. His arm comes out of the ground, um, and it is a total callback to Army of Darkness, and it was that where he's reaching out on the ground, and the third day was fantastic. But yeah, so uh, that, and again, it's it's awesome to see when a movie goes back to the, the horror roots of the director. It's like he couldn't get away with it. He's gonna yeah. It, and I love it. I love it. So yeah, um, that is, oh my goodness, I have one more. One more trivia! Does anybody have any interesting thoughts about Pinson and Lula and Ethan Collins that other people may not know out here? We have, we have room for one trivia. And if this trivia stumps Tyler, if it's something he didn't know, we'll give you guys a shirt. We'll give you a piece of the episode. Take a pause on Think hard, man. Think hard. How about I read my bit, and then when I'm done, let you come up and say something. You got that time? You got that time to think about it, okay? So, uh, for my last bit, this Frantically is, pulls out phone. This is, a, this is more of like a goof and a mess up in the movie than like a video. I still love it. I am going to do it. So, Billy is said to be turning 18 soon in the movie, and he's going to be aging out of his sausage, right? Yeah. Right? In the first film, certain mistakes were 14 years old. The oh, wow. Yeah, the dialogue from the movie indicates that this takes place 22 years after that. So, Billy, you're on into 16. So, they messed up instead of uh, saying that he was 80. But I don't like, well, then with the timeline of the movie, he was only 16 years old. I mean, it must not have been that, like, prevalent because I it didn't I didn't notice it and it didn't pull me out of the movie. Yeah, That's when those, when those movie. goofs, yeah. when those goofs happen, I don't, I don't worry about them unless it, Pulls me out of the movie. Right, and it didn't with the humor, but it's 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 something that I felt like needed. Yeah. Saying, but. All right, and the final time you got an obscure fact or some trivia that I don't know. Come on, talk to me. What's your name? Wait, I actually today the cat got on. Okay. Um, did you know that in first um, Sam Raimi Spider Man movie? Oh, wow, buddy, you might be in color. Those are my jam. I, I probably like this movie so much. People are fed offered to continue and. I can't. Did that hit off on TV? You went on. So then you know, sure. Yeah, I can. They offered. Oh, Flash Gordon? Flash Is that Gordon. who he did? Yeah? yeah people are fed offered to continue and she did it. Uh, um, oh, like Tobey Maguire? Yeah. yeah! And that fight, they did that? Um, he didn't do this, but people offered to pay and go action punch I didn't know that. I think you might have an encode, so is that in something that I, I don't know? I'll yeah. pass the mantle down. So awesome. Yeah, good job. So what, size, what size of shirt you wear? Uh, awesome. I got you. When we're done, come over to our table. I'm going to hook you up. <laughs> Awesome, man. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, yeah, so, listen, I do. Shout out to our kids. It's great. 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 I mean, whether or not you get it, that's up to you. I don't know. That's always been, and, and, I, and I've told Tyler this, one day I may have a spinoff podcast, and that might touch on it a little bit. Fantastic. Just, hey, I want to thank you for all for coming in and talking to us. I appreciate your very good nature insight. Your costume and your outfit is amazing. It's, it's great. Are you looking at mom? We want you to the most of the ones up there. All right. Well, you got to talk with Dana Santa Bye. You got to deal with that. Snoochie Booches. This should be more impressive. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, 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 know. I can talk. I can talk to you multiple times about the Wherever you're at, I kind of find you. I'm like, hey. So, 
It's kind of cat. But yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Um, we're gonna, you haven't seen Camille's. So, a blind reaction of us talking about it, what did you give that night down to our one out of ten? What would you give that night? Blind reaction of the chef that we paid. A four. Wow. Wow. What would you give it? I mean, I give it a four seven. Four point seven out of ten. It, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't, but it also, I put, it didn't add anything to the piece you knew for me. And You're right. It, yeah. I, I mean, the, if you're going to ever watch a Marvel style film, the yep. crazy CGI, so what I wrote here is, look, you can always go to about um, giant sleepy dragons and creepy creatures, and I'm obviously going to enjoy it. That's always going to happen. Um, yeah. it, it did surprise me. I, I thought it was going to be horrible, and maybe I have to go I thought it was going to be horrible. Um, but I do think that it's it, it, it's playing its own as a DC movie. But I also think that it was the weakest DC movie that I've seen. Um, so yeah, I, the post credit scene brought this up from like a three to like the, the upper fours because of the, the direction that they've been taking. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So Dylan, what about you? I need to readjust my my you know, my scale. You know, I need to readjust it. I I gave this a six point two. Really? Yeah. And I thought that was low, but that's low for me. I mean, usually I'm a I'm a sevens and eights kind of guy, but yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. I because it's it's Shazam on on a movie screen. Shazam, Shazam. Um, and you get the family with it too. That's um, I mean, if you would have had anything of Black Adam in there, it would have been higher. If you had Superman in there, it would have been even higher. What? No, I don't think it would have fit. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Right. right. Oh, yeah. Of course. But yeah, so that is our review and our conversation about Savannah. Do you want to take a butt here? Grand Comic Fest 5, thank you so much. Woo! This yeah! has been a blast. Thank you all the time. We. <laughs> oh, wow. Have you guys all been listening to us this whole time? I think we have. Wow. Okay. Okay. We have cards up here. And on the back of those cards, you have QR codes for Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, the TikTok. You can find us everywhere. Um, again, we want to thank you guys. Um, I, we, we spent our money on, on these prizes and we couldn't be happier giving them out to you I love fine folks. And, stuff, so yeah. and merch, and Apple Credit merch, then don't forget to post it on the Absolutely, and again, this episode, we're going to be posting it too, because it's content. So if you, if you want to hear you guys on a really close on a podcast, just hit that guy's out, follow him, and you'll be able to hear you on podcast. And we love you more than Billy Batson loves his family. That's a wrap. Synergy Nation Network Podcast. Shows for those with passion. Visit us online at sinnation.net.